the this much food. Okay, so welcome to uh, this chapter. Um, so today we are going to talk to about uh, the app packages um, for downloading data. Uh, and as you can see, you will see in the chapter there there are uh, quite a certain number of, of different packages that can be used to download any uh, the most different type of data uh, for spatial analysis. Just sharing my screen. Might take a minute. Okay, so um, in the meantime, I'll show you, uh, what is this? Okay, so this is the, uh, the chapter, and as you might have seen, okay, now you see it. Uh, this is the chapter six, uh, packages to download open spatial data. Um, as you might have seen, it's quite straightforward. So there is, um, so for uh, those of you who has um, a bit of experience uh, with downloading data, uh, it is quite straightforward. So there, there is um, a list of packages uh, of different type, kinds, different mm, that uh, allowed you to learn different kinds of uh, uh, data uh, for making spatial analysis. Uh, there are as well some uh, examples on uh, how to use these packages. Uh, what I uh, put in the notes here is this. Uh, um, uh, basically the the examples so we can uh, run them together uh, and see uh, uh, I'm not sure if you'd like to share uh, your personal experience about um, uh, which uh, packages you have already used within these that are listed in the in the chapter uh, for downloading data. I have been using the our natural earth package, but only perhaps two times or so. Um, Which one? Sorry. Uh, our natural earth. Okay. Yes, um, but the others, yeah, in the chapter, I think the SPOCC I have used perhaps once, but for the rest. Um, I'm not uh, a regular user of uh, such packages now. So okay. it's uh, most things were quite new to me. Uh, and what about uh, uh, Mika, Michael? How, how do you pronounce your name? Oh, yeah, I also have very few experience. Um, um, so, well, I had some ex a tiny bit of experience uh, downloading um, local maps of Indonesian uh, local counties. Uh, but for me, it's just a nightmare because of all the administrative terms that I've never heard of. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. So this is um, basically, so the, the objective for, of this chapter is to find the right package for downloading the data that are of our uh, interest. Okay, so this, um, 
uh, here is the, the 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 full list of the packages mentioned in the chapter. Uh, and so we have an, uh, our natural earth geodata. Uh, I don't I don't know anything about this chirps uh, package, uh, which would be nice to see. Uh, elevator, um, um, open street um, and, uh, data. Uh, this is the World Bank data. Uh, and this one here, uh, POCC, is um, a nice package which I used for downloading uh, species occurrences from, from the, the, the GBIF. So we, it, this is nice, even produ uh, provide a function for modeling. And then there is Wooper, Wooper estimated for um, population estimations, RDHS uh, for demographic health surveys, malaria atlas, uh, open air, space start, SP data, ggmap, open cage, and then tidy census, uh, Tigris, map Spain, and geo bear, PR, and G-score. Uh, this, these other ones I know a bit as well. Uh, tidy census is for downloading um, the geocode for uh, uh, specified areas. Uh, G-score allows you for uh, boundaries, country boundaries, which is very, very nice and precise. So the first example is with Natural Earth, uh, and Natural Earth, so we know uh, about that, so we can even skip it uh, safely, so you can, it provides some, some functions for uh, downloading uh, the polygons, such as, uh, and uh, a countries where you specify eventually you specify the uh, country the scale and the uh, return class which can be uh, simple features or simple feature or special uh, sp uh, special data uh, as well as you can use uh, na states uh, and it provides uh, the boundary for the states. Uh, if we jump into my R, okay, can you see my R? Yeah. Uh, so we can yes. uh, have a look at the output. Okay, so first we need to obviously load the data and Natural Earth is the most popular one. So when you make, um, beside uh, maps, or uh, you can retrieve data for the polygons from the ggplot using map underscore data function. Uh, beside this, this other one, so our Natural Earth is very is a very popular package. So loading this these packages. Um, we can see that if we use uh, the the function na countries, the first map. Uh, um, so we see that uh, the first data that we downloaded is a simple feature collection, uh, and it's a multi polygon. It provides a boundary box, uh, and then. So here cannot be uh, seen clearly, but so you have the country's names and everything. Uh, then if you plot it with ggplot and geomsf, because it's a simple feature, you can see that there will be uh, what appears, what will be appearing here is uh, uh, just the, the overall boundary of the country, okay? In this case, Germany. While if we use uh, the states, so, um, and then um, uh, we, we do the same thing. Uh, um, uh, with ggplot. So this time we can see that the, the uh, Germany is now divided by uh, regions. Okay. So uh, this is a way to uh, extrapolate uh, the sub polygons 
of a country, but you can do world, uh, but uh, uh, just typing world, uh, or using just nick nick countries without anything, just maybe uh, the return class. So you can do many things. Uh, to for, for more information, you can do like question mark and uh, R natural earth. And here in the help uh, pane, you can see um, that there are some some uh, explanation about the packages. While if we do exactly one of the the functions, uh, we have even some uh, examples on uh, how to use it. So you 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 can even use it without specifying anything inside. Okay, uh, and so by default, uh, it, it return um, uh, a scale of 110, and so you can um, then customize as, as you like. So this is uh, it's, it's the first example, and let's say that this is uh, quite the most popular one. Then there is geodata. Uh, geodata is um, a nice package, which is uh, in generally used for um, uh, downloading uh, climate data. And so it might take a bit because as you can see, uh, it's loading uh, Tierra as well. Maybe because um, take a bit. So and this is nice for uh, raster data. So it shows you uh, if we see in the uh, okay now it's done in the chapter. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, my. Uh, okay. So as you can see in the chapter. Okay, so here are the two uh, that we just seen, and then there is this geodata, uh, which is uh, allowed you to download geographic data, in particular climate, climate data, elevation, land use, soil crop, and so on and so forth. Okay, and so here is an example, and it is nice this package because, uh, as you can see, you have a raster. Um, map uh, as an output so immediately uh, very nice and it um, will uh, allow you to uh, specify uh, if you want because usually these data are quite heavy so quite um, uh, of, of a certain uh, dimension so you can uh, store them on a, a temporary direction uh, directory here uh, and you can specify if you, which variable uh, you like, like the, the minimum temperature. Uh, and then here is a uh, plot with the Terra package. But if, uh, okay, let's see how long it takes if it takes very long uh okay as you can see so it downloaded uh downloaded very uh, fast and uh, the type of data here is a, a special a special raster so uh this is um, a function that you can um specify um different um, various variables, like temperature, minimum, maximum, the average, the precipitation, the wind, 
uh, and so uh, even even uh, so if you if you use the bio it basically includes more uh, more variables uh, and uh, it will um, uh, give you if when you plot it more than one plot with different things um, so like the minimum the maximum and everything so everything that is within the bio uh, biological environment uh, and this uh, it's a, spe a special raster so the output is a special raster uh, and uh, it is uh, nice because it's not always uh, quite you know, you need to do uh, a bit more steps to obtain something like this directly. So this one allows you for uh, a raster image uh, uh, quite straightforward. Okay, so this is, um, uh, as I said, a special raster. If you want, you can transform it into a data frame. Uh, or um, a simple feature, or even you can use a uh, geom raster uh, to, in order to be able to use geom ggplot. Okay. Uh, then uh, let's have a look at this chirps um, package. This package. Uh, this package here. Uh, okay, uh, allows to uh, obtain daily high resolution precipitation as well as daily maximum and minimum temperature. Uh, this data from the climate hazard uh, group, and you can use uh, this get uh, chip uh, function. Um, and so let's uh, this is uh, basically the output. This is not a map, but you can see uh, what is the trend uh, of the precipitation. Um, let's let's go back to uh, R and have a look. I've just uh, installed the package, so it should work. Okay. Uh, we have uh, a very uh, uh, centroid here with a value for the longitude and latitude um, on a data frame. So this is uh, basically the location. Uh, and then we use the function get uh, chip, which is um, allows us to get the precipitation data from the chips, uh, so clima, clim, climate hazard group. Uh, and so um, this is uh, recommended for multiple data points. Uh, in, and inside the function, you specify the object, the date, uh, the server is uh, CHC. Uh, or uh, climate serve um, passes other arguments from the Tierra and simple feature packages, and the you can specify if it's a matrix, a raster, a simple feature with the as sf or uh, as raster, or, uh, as matrix, or a geojet. Here there is uh, as well um, a little uh, example, and then uh, if you specify, let's see, the location. Here we specify the uh, climate serve uh, and a date, some dates from uh, the first of January two thousand twenty and the end of two thousand twenty two which is uh, getting your request, it might take a bit, but then you can use it directly, uh, which is, I think is done, uh, into ggplot, d a class uh, 
data frame as well as cheer search cheer the data frame so you can use it directly uh, inside a ggplot function and you will have the presentation on specified location i assume that you can use it on multiple locations um so this is quite nice let's have a look at this um maybe the documentation with this uh package i don't know if you are interested in in one more than another so we can focus on uh, on on those ones You have a package that uh, you might want to have a look at, so we can um, look at it. Another example is with uh, elevator, uh, and here uh, uses R natural earth for the polygon, and then to get the uh, elevation uh, data, um, uses the elevator package, uh, and so as well as before. This time we are mapping Switzerland. As, as a simple feature, so we have uh, uh, the simple features, and then we use this uh, get uh, elevator uh, raster, which is basically provide access to raster elevation, and this function um, takes um, take data from Amazon Web Service. Uh, terrain tiles and as well as from open topography global data sets uh, that you can inside uh, have, a, have a different options um, you can specify and then um, here you can use a data frame and within different locations specifying the coordinate reference system and see what is the output of this example. So here we have um, our location is our map in Switzerland. So all the, uh, the, the countries, if we do like plot, if you see ggplot and then um, map geom sf on this data we see that this is a uh, uh, over a polygon of switzerland and then downloading the um, data about about the the level of elevation so accessing raster elevation then we can plot it with the plot function from sierra it's a raster you can use the raster function so the output will be about this one here which is even nicer as, as uh, compared to uh, th this one from Geodata. The Geodata allows you for uh, cl climate data, and here you can see the elevations. Yeah, elevation data. Then there is this uh, other package. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if how long it takes, so it might take a bit. In the meantime, we go forward, 
because we already seen the output. Then there is open street data. And this is even nice. So this open street data, you can uh, download many things. I've used uh, more than once. And here um, you uh, have a function available features. Uh, and it basically allows you to select uh, all the features available uh, for uh, downloading information. Um, as you can see, like uh, you have some of them. These are just the head, but if we see all of them, as you can see, uh, you have, uh, I don't know, house numbers, uh, post box, uh, um, bicycle, boundary, amenities. User, usually I've used for uh, looking at the amenities because some sometimes not all the, uh, when you re make a request for a particular location, uh, it might be possible that you don't have information on uh, many of those things. Usually amenity is the most uh, um, popular, is the most uh, easily um, uh, to use uh, and download with that you can find information. Then um, when you specify once, let, let's say amenities, okay, okay. Then you can see what, uh, within the amenities are the available tags. And this means that um, specify goes at a, a level inside, specify which type of amenity uh, you can uh, download. And here you can see like you have uh, um, art centers, bar, banks, uh, many things, okay? These are the location for those things like by bicycle wash, so not not every city or uh, <laughs> have this bicycle wash, for example. So if you make a request for this to I don't know a place that doesn't provide uh, these features, you know this amenity, you you won't find it. And then you, uh, you uh, the the next step is to use the get db. Uh, this function is uh, basically the, the boundary box. Uh, for example, get a bounding box for a given place uh, name. And so let's say that we want to have a look at Barcelona. Um, now, this is the boundary box for Barcelona. So we have the minimum, the maximum, longitude and, lat and latitude. Then to use um, OpenStreets map data, uh, we, can we can even pipe the various function. On the boundary box, we can pipe it to this function, OPQ, okay? This function, basically, what does is um, building an overpass query. So this is the, the API. Uh, and um, based on the boundary box, allow, it allows you to download the map uh, inside the boundary box. Okay, so let's have a look at the this okay as you can see you have uh, specified the boundary box and then uh, now you have the overpass query uh, specifying the, the, the area okay and then so now that you have uh, with this function you can even plot but then it will be Okay, the, uh, on top of this function, you add the features and then uh, the OpenStreet 
data si impossisce. We start basically uh, to be more precise. Um, let's see the details. Okay, so um, this does not return geometries. Um, because these are uh, implemented so uh, by the open street data function, which is the uh, this function here that we use later, but uh, uh, but it uh, um, opens up a way to download this data. Yeah, okay. So uh, let's type this thing. Okay, so we have the, no, this is another one. Okay, so uh, specified, but um, we open up the connection, uh, we add our features, such as the amenities, but in particular, we like to have the hospitals, and then use this uh, open street map uh, simple feature. Okay, so it, now it's downloaded all the location for the hospitals in Barcelona. Then the next step is to download, doing the same thing for the motor waves. As you can see now, the uh, there is not so within the available features, we haven't chosen uh, the amenity this time, but the highway because we are looking at motorways, and then the value within the highways is the motorways, and. And then you can plot it. So now that you have these two information, you can plot it with le uh, leaflets. You add tiles and add polylines or polygons. It depends um, so, uh, by the two. And now it takes a bit, but we can, uh, okay, it's done. So if we see the leaflets with, just with add the tiles, oops. We know that the yeah, tiles basically build up the a map, a general map. Okay, so the world map. Then you specify a location. In this case, the motorways, because this output here that we haven't seen it. Okay, so this is the output. This is open street data, the boundary box the overpass call, the call submitted to the overpass Abbey, and then the various points, which are simple feature collections. Multi-line and multi-polygons are null, but they are uh, point, line, and polygons. So in this case, what we use is um, we can select Let's have a look if we do model waves. What type of uh, um, uh, selection that we have? We can choose between points, lines, and polygons. We can have a look at the boundary box. What is the uh, overpass call uh, for the Abbey? Uh, and then other other information. Let's see what is this meta. Okay, so like some meta information. So now what we do is basically um, adding polylines. So we choose the line. Okay, and here you can see what are the model waves in 
Barcelona. And then let's add the hospital. Which is, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure where it's. Okay, uh, th this blue dot are the hospitals uh, and the motorways. Quite straightforward. It's really great that you can do this with open street map. Um, downloading parts of it, I found is really <laughs> exciting to do. Yeah, yeah. okay. So let, let, this, this is another one that which I used. It's uh, uh, the World Bank uh, package. Uh, as, uh, it allows you for downloading data about many things. Uh, usually, uh, poverty and employment are quite popular. Uh, and so if we load the World Bank Start uh, package, this is another one. But th there's many packages. Uh, I love this chapter for, for this because um, uh, it's very useful to have an idea of what 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 are the the most useful or popular ones okay so uh, there is um I think I'm going to restart this session Okay, so where were we? Um, World Bank. There are different indicators within the the World Bank uh, search. Okay, let's have a look at this. Um, uh, the function is um, World Bank search. And here you have a pattern, field, extra, cache, in your case, and everything. You can specify indicators, um, ID or the indicator, or indicator descent. And um, as you can see, so the pattern of the um, various uh, type of things can be education, food, uh, poverty and employment. But there is a, a, a way to see the entire list and then decide which which one um, you would be interested um, in. For example, you can even use a regex uh, to specify which one within the patterns available contains GDP or trade, um, then you uh, can use this, for example. Let's have a look at this one here. OK. Uh, as you can see, it, it releases a table with all uh, 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 information it's a table of three columns then you identify the indicator that you like that you might interested in like wage bill as a percentage of gdp um, and then you specify inside the function as is if you like indicator id you can use indicator id otherwise just indicator or this one or one of the three Okay, that's clear. Um, but if you do, if you use just the the function, it doesn't allow uh, for uh, anything. So, uh, but there is a way to for you to to ever look like if you do pattern and you specify something. 
you might be interested in. Um, you can use uh, um, let's let me the data. Uh, char character string or regular expression to be matched. Uh, you can store them uh, in a cache. Uh, I think it's uh, if we Google uh, the package, um, there is more information about. Um, entire type. You cannot see it, I think, because I'm not sharing it with you. I have um, in the chat, I have um, put a, um, an, a statement that which shows okay. where you can find um, all the indicators. Okay, great. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, this, uh, okay. Now, country indicator source topic, but without pattern, maybe just. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to, you know, it's, 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 uh, you don't have to put it inside the WB search. It's just a statement, not on its own. It's just uh, actually it's the yes, that's it. It's the WB cache lists. It's uh, it contains um, it's a, so it's a list of of eight tables, and so the indicators table that is inside the WB cache list is a really long list of all the indicators. So it's the total overview, if you if you like. It's, it's something uh, that I think is maybe contained, delivered with the with the package, or it's uh, something which is re created on the fly. I don't know. Okay, so this is what's inside the package, and uh, so you have countries, indicators, sources, topic, regions, many things that you can. Uh, even languages that you can specify uh, when you okay uh, let, let's use uh, uh, this poverty or unemployment uh, query uh, and see what is the the output so it's three columns and so here we have the three columns, three vectors with indicator ID, indicator, indicator description, okay? Uh, and so if we can specify either one of those, um, like poverty, head count, for those one who take a uh, dollar uh, point nine a day, uh, or uh, something a bit more specific, then you can specify a range uh, of date and see that you have now an entire data set uh, with no spatial information, so we don't have coordinates. But we can, for example, uh, if we use map view and R natural earth, uh, loading the polygons for Africa, let's say, and then what is done is basically using the map of the polygons and then left join the map with the data by um, the country code. Because the map from uh, our natural earth uh, provides 
uh, the the country code so with a slightly different um, name because this one is um, uh, like underscore a3 while this other one is 3c so you put them uh, inside the left join and then you can just map it with map view and there you go this is nice as well you have done it straightforward okay so let's the the the, the last two uh, are the spocc package this one is it's uh, uh, a package where you can use uh, to download species animal species information from gbif so it uh, uh, download you the location of the various uh, so the, the 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 animal that you like to uh, locate and then you can specify uh, a range of dates uh, and course and then you specify if you want a, a, li a, a limit of observations and then you can uh, plot it as well as with map view Uh, I believe that there's more packages uh, because at the very top uh, of the chapter, uh, she mentioned more uh, packages than those ones for which she provides um, an, an example. Usually, GBIF takes a bit. Okay, it's done. The output is this and so you have this bradibus and the location the date and everything you can then plot it with map view and there you go and you have the location of the bradibus <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, also the chapter. I don't know if you have any questions or. Would you like to. Uh, and, and when I was zooming in in this map, you also could see that there's a some natural park which is named after this animal, which had many observations. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Uh, I think uh, if you don't have any other questions. It's a really nice chapter and it was very, very clear. Your presentation it was very interactive with the art and so on. Yeah, it was interesting. So okay. thank you. Thank you.